When taken in order, vector A, B and C represents the three sides of a triangle. Show that the sum of the three vectors equals the null vector. Let us begin. So first we will consider a triangle with vertices A, B and C. We'll consider the side opposite to the vertex A which is BC and represented by the vector A. And then we'll go to the side C which is the side opposite to the vertex B. And we're going to consider it to be represented by the vector B. Let's say it's going in a particular order. Now we have the third side AB. So we'll have the vector pointing from point A to vertex A towards vertex B. And this is going to be the vector C. So this is what it means when we say that the vectors A, B and C are taken in order. That means they are going in a cyclical more fashion. Now. In order to show that vector a plus b plus c equals to 0, so here we'll do, we'll use the triangle law of vector addition. Uh, the triangle law of vector addition, so that states that if we have a vector a, so what we'll do, where, wherever the terminal point of the vector a lies from there, we're going to uh, coincide it with the initial point of vector b. Then finally, we're going to join the initial point of vector a and the terminal point of vector b with the help of a vector and that's going to be the sum of the two vectors fine now in our case as we can see here the vector a and vector b the position wise they are fine because the terminal point of vector a coincides with the initial point of vector b however our vector c the direction is in the opposite direction we want it to be going from vertex b to vertex a in order for us to apply the triangle law vector addition so here what we can do using the triangle law of vector addition we should get a vector added to v vector and this should give us the third side and this is going to be the vector going from b to a that means we need c negative c vector so what we'll do we'll transpose negative c vector to the left hand side and that becomes a vector plus b vector plus c vector now this is going to leave us with uh, something uh, zero but it's not exact uh, there's not actually a scalar zero but it has to be a vector zero because the sum of three vectors must give us a vector and here it's the zero vector so we have successfully showed that the sum of the three vectors a b and c will be zero if a b and c represents the three sides of a triangle taken in order